In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to send content such as audio and video from your computer to this device over a network. Content such as video, um, audio, and even YouTube and other videos that you stream over the internet. I can show you how you can tell your computer to send all that content through this device and have it show up on your television all over the network. But before I do that, I wanted to give you a quick overview of this device. It's called the Western Digital TV Live, made by Western Digital. There's another version that includes a hard drive, but really you don't need that unless you plan on storing a lot of content on there and want to play it back later. It's very similar to an Apple TV and actually costs about the same amount of money. This was $99 and the Apple TV is $99. But it has some nice features that the Apple TV doesn't have. For example, it's got two USB ports, one in the front and one in the back, so that way if you had a flash drive with pictures, music, um, videos, you can play it right off the flash drive onto this device, or you can store content on the flash drives that are on here. It also acts as a um, firmware upgrade if you want to upgrade the firmware using the USB port. Alright, now you have your power jack, uh, fiber optic, ethernet, HDMI, the second USB, and a eighth inch jack that breaks out to three RCA cables, red, white, and yellow, so you can plug it to an analog TV if you want to, if your TV doesn't support HD. It does have Wi-Fi built in, so you can use that if you want to. Personally, I prefer Ethernet because of bandwidth-wise, you have a better chance, and also signal, you don't want to have a low signal, because if the signal's too low, the video won't play correctly. It does support DTS decoding for sound, if, as long as your receiver will receive it, it will send it out. And it does Dolby True Digital. Now on with the demonstration. For the demonstration, I'll be running the uh, content that I'll be sending on a Dell Latitude laptop, E6500 running Windows 7 64-bit edition. It will of course also work on Windows 7 32 and I believe Windows XP will support it and Windows Vista and Windows 8. I'm not sure if it'll work with Apple but if you have a program that says it supports UPnP that you get for your Mac it will support it. UPnP is a universal protocol so it's not proprietary to Microsoft. Now on with the demonstration. All right, right now I'm going to demonstrate for you how to send a video from your Windows Media Player to the Western Digital Box using only the network. As you can see, I have Windows Media Player open. Now what I'm going to do, you can see the little uh, square here with the green triangle. Well the green circle with the white triangle. That stands for the UPnP ability to send content to a remote device. So you click on that. It shows the Western Digital TV Live, which is on the network. I click on that. Now it brings up this box, which is the media streaming feature for Windows. By default, it's turned off. So in order to stream content to my device, I need to turn it on. So I just turn it on here, and then I select what, how I want it to work. So I can allow access using default settings to this device, my computer, and I can allow access using default settings to the Western Digital thing. I'm going to allow everything. If I want, I can control what. I want it to access. I'm fine with all these settings, so okay. Now my Western Digital is allowed. So I'm going to hit OK. And now I can send content to my Western Digital device. All I have to do now is select the content, which is right here already selected. Western Digital TV Live and then hit play.
the Western Digital TV will receive the content and start playing it immediately. When it starts playing the content, it will show up this box. This box controls the Western Digital device. So it shows all the content that I've added into the queue from here into here. So I can click on it, hit play, and play it. I can control the volume going out from the Western Digital device. I can pause it. Resume, loop it, stop it, all from here. I can send video, pictures, music, anything using this. And that's all it takes to send content from your computer to your Western Digital device. You can also use your iPad and use an app that's free called Twonky Beam. It's made by the company Twonky. And what it does is any content that you have, like you go to a website, well, the app is a web browser, and any content like YouTube or any sites you go to that have video content, you simply hit beam, it will ask you what device you want to send it to, such as the Western Digital device. It also does send it to the Apple TV too, and it will show up on your television. So I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. If you have any questions or any certain areas, or if there's any other objects, um, parts of the uh, Western Digital that you would like me to go over, I'd be more than happy to. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe.